everyone welcome back to today's video today we are installing a y map which adds a construction site right across the street from the yellow jack on panorama hopefully this does come in handy for you to make your server a little bit more realistic i'm actually recording the audio after i recorded the video because i was an idiot and didn't unmute my mic um i know yeah, rookie mistake there. Um, anyway, we're going to get straight into this. I would like to apologize for the delay in videos and not them being too detailed. There's been thousands of resources I've been trying to do videos on. I've been wrapped up in getting ready for college stuff, and I do apologize for that. Also, a lot of resources are paid, and I can't um, review those, mainly because I'm trying to save money for college, and it just kind of is too much right now. But anyway, um, enough about money, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get into installing um, this resource. So um, I'm going to click on the image in a moment in the video. And you can kind of see it adds a little bit of a uh, construction site across from the yellow jacket so if you don't know where this is this is in sandy shores um it is right uh it's kind of just more of a realism type thing so in order to install this regardless is you're going to go to the page and the link in the top of the description and click on the download on the github page um on this github page you'll see the releases tab at the top and the releases tab just makes it easier for downloading you could always do it manually but you're just going to go ahead and download the latest source code from whatever the update is obviously you could also do it by downloading from the page there as well but just open this up with winzip 7zip winrar whatever you use to open up these files and you're going to go to your server data resources folder or wherever you store your resources in my case it is my server data resources folder if you're using zap hosting it could be in your ftp or tx admin um, it would be in your tx data folder and all you're going to have to do when you are inside of this folder is go ahead and take that file we just downloaded and drag it from that zip file into your resources folder we're not going to rename it but i am going to right click and copy the name so we don't actually have to manually type it out when we get to our server.cfg file. Now we're actually going to go to wherever our server.cfg file is. In my case, it's my server data folder. Zap and txadmin both have them built into the panels you have. So obviously you can configure this to your liking um, in terms of where you have that file, depending on how you set up your server. Once it open, you're just going to go to the top of the file where all your other resources are. And at the bottom of that, add ensure or start, depending on what's already there. And then just paste in the name of the folder. In our case, it is panorama construction. 1.1. Go ahead and launch your 5M server with fxserver.exe or your start.bat file and as long as you see inside the console the same name of the folder you know you are good to go and good to hop in your server. So let's hop in and look what it looks like. Alright, so we are in game here and you can see right across the street from the yellow jacket you got your little construction site and obviously it is just right across the street so it makes it really really easy for role play and everything. I kind of like it being here, it just makes it more feeling like it's a realistic type thing, um, which is very nice. Um, obviously all these signs over here can also be interacted with so if you want like to drive trucks through them and role play or whatever you can do that as well. Um, so hopefully this did come in handy, like, subscribe, comment, join the channel and I will see you in two days for the next video. Have a great week, everyone.